Hey there, I'm Tim Gray, and like most users of Lightroom Classic CC, from time to time I've got a bit of a mess in my catalog. I suspect many photographers are in the same boat. And part of that, frankly, is about not understanding Lightroom. And so when it comes to cleaning up your mess in Lightroom or defining your workflow in the first place in Lightroom, one of the first things I recommend is actually just stepping away from the computer. Don't worry about the computer itself. Don't even touch your computer. Don't look at your photos. Don't look at the files, but rather think about what's going to make sense in terms of an organizational workflow. If you've not yet started using Lightroom and you want to avoid a mess, this is a good time to start to think about the workflow before you actually get to know Lightroom. If you're already using Lightroom, chances are you've got at least a little bit of a mess there. And so this will help give you a sense of a goal in terms of what you're working toward. And so one of the first things to consider, I think, is storage. Obviously, you're going to store your photos somewhere. And for many photographers, that means storing your photos in lots of places. And I don't mean backing up your photos, but actually having photos across a wide variety of hard drives. That creates clutter right from the start. And so if at all possible, I recommend using a single storage device, a single hard drive that's perhaps even dedicated to only storing your photos so that when it comes to looking for your photos, you know that the first place to start is that storage location, that hard drive, for example, that contains ideally all of your photos. In addition, Lightroom uses a catalog, and one of the key ways you can avoid having a mess in Lightroom is to actually understand how Lightroom works. In fact, I created an entire video course just on understanding Lightroom so that you could avoid some of these problems in the first place. But one of the key concepts there relates to Lightroom using a catalog to manage all of your photos. And I know many photographers create catalogs for all sorts of different purposes, different catalogs for different projects or catalogs for each calendar year. I highly recommend using a single catalog in Lightroom so that when you launch Lightroom, you're looking at all of your photos potentially. You don't have to stop and think, which catalog do I need to open to be able to access the photo that I'm looking for? And then you also want to think about the storage structure in terms of folders. And that's where many photographers really create a big mess is how their folders are organized or how they're not organized at all. How you approach the folder structure will depend on your specific needs as a photographer and on some level, the type of photography that you do. If you're a wedding photographer, it would make perfect sense to have a single folder for each wedding and then to name that folder based on the name of the couple, for example. Or if you were a commercial photographer or an advertising photographer, maybe the company name or the project name. If you're a street photographer in New York City, it might be a little bit more complicated because you're just randomly wandering neighborhoods. In that case, you might actually want to organize by date, which is something that does not work for me personally. So you need to think about how you think about your photos. So for me, many of my photos are captured when I'm traveling. And so it makes sense when I'm thinking about a particular photo, I'm often thinking about the location where I captured that image. And so I would use a folder structure where the folders are named based on the trip or the location I was visiting. The key is to be thoughtful, ideally ahead of time when you're just getting started, just getting ready to use Lightroom, thinking about a folder structure, a strategy that makes sense for you, because very often you're going to start your search for a photo based on the way you think about that photo and therefore based on the folder that the photo is contained in. After you've given some thought to these various issues, then you can go back to your computer and ideally get started defining that workflow for the very first time in Lightroom. But of course, like many photographers, I imagine you might have already started using Lightroom and you've already got a little bit of a mess. So let's take a look at what some of that mess might look like and how you can resolve some of the more fundamental issues, some of the most common issues that photographers run into. Here, for example, I'm browsing a photo, I go into the develop module, I want to work on optimizing this photo, and I get this dreaded message that the file could not be found. And that means that Lightroom knows where this photo is supposed to be, but it's not there. It could be as simple as an external hard drive not being plugged into your computer. In this case, that's not what's happening. I'm going to switch over to the library module and you'll see that down below the histogram, there's another indication that this photo is missing. And if I look at the film strip or if I were in the grid view display, then I would also see an exclamation point icon up at the top right of each of those photos that are missing. 
That means that this photo is missing. You can see there are a number of photos that are missing here. And in fact, if we go take a look at the folder itself, not only are the photos inside the folder missing, but in fact, the folder itself is missing. I'd like to know why this happened. Well, there's usually one explanation for all of these sorts of problems. One of the most important things to understand about Lightroom is that once you start using Lightroom to manage your photos, everything that you do with your photos needs to be initiated inside of Lightroom. If you want to rename photos, rename a folder, move files or folders around, that's perfectly fine, but you need to do that inside of Lightroom. So in this case, I have a folder that is missing. You can see the question mark icon on the folder itself. And that indicates once again that this file, this entire folder containing a variety of photos is not where it's expected. Fortunately, I can reconnect the overall folder and hopefully that means that all the files inside will then reconnect as well. I essentially just need to point Lightroom to where that folder actually is. So if I renamed it, for example, or moved it to a different hard drive, I just need to point that folder out to Lightroom. To do so, I will right click on the folder and then choose the option to find missing folder. That will bring up a dialog where I can browse my various storage locations, in this case, the My Photos hard drive here, and then I can go locate the folder. So in this case, you might notice here, I have a folder called Main Road Trip 2014, because I decided that this name makes more sense to me. It was a road trip through Maine, and so I wanted to give the folder a different name. So I renamed it. The problem is I renamed the folder in the operating system, not inside of Lightroom. And so Lightroom essentially got confused. Fortunately, in this case, I was able to relatively easily locate the folder. Admittedly, in some cases, it might be a challenge to track down what happened to that folder, but eventually, hopefully, you'll find it and you can reconnect. So I'll go ahead and select the folder that represents what was the main coast folder. It's now called Main Road Trip 2014. So after selecting it, I'll just click the Choose button. And now, magically, and with great relief, I see that the folder is no longer missing and all of the individual photos within that folder are also no longer missing. So I'm able to work with those photos once again. You might also have a situation where it's not the folder that's missing, but an individual image. And so we can take a look at an example of that. If I go into this tethered captures folder, I can see that three out of the four images here are still available. They're not missing, but one of the images, this black and white interpretation, you see the exclamation point icon at the top right of the thumbnail, indicating that this individual photo is missing. So I don't need to reconnect the folder, I need to actually locate the missing photo file. I'll go ahead and click the exclamation point icon, and that brings up a dialog that indicates this photo is missing, would you like to locate it? Of course, I would love to locate it, hopefully I can locate it. I'll go ahead and click the locate button, and that also brings up a dialog, in this case, taking me automatically to the same folder where that photo is stored, which thankfully, is where the image is actually stored. In this case, I converted the image to a black and white interpretation, and so I renamed the file to indicate BW for black and white. Once again, though, I performed that change outside of Lightroom, and so Lightroom didn't know about it. So I will select, being very careful to make sure that I am selecting the exact same image. And then once I've selected that file, I can simply click the Select button. And because the file name differs, I'm actually going to see a warning dialog making sure that I'm positive that this is the correct photo, the missing image. This is the actual file for that file. And so I'll go ahead and click Confirm, and then that photo once again will be recovered. It is no longer missing, and I can continue working with it any way that I'd like. Those are the two, I would say, most significant, most common issues, missing folders and missing photos within Lightroom. There's also a variety of other things that you might want to do, cleaning up the overall folder structure. You might want to consolidate some of your folders. You might want to create a parent folder that you put other folders into. One of the other things though is to actually rename your folders. If you didn't use a very consistent or a very good approach to renaming folders in the first place, you might want to rename them later. You already saw that I renamed a folder to give it a more meaningful name for me, but I had done that outside of Lightroom, so I created some problems for myself. If I want to rename a folder or photos, I absolutely can do that. I just need to make sure to do it inside of Lightroom. 
So here, for example, I have a folder called 2012 Trip to Croatia. The problem is I'm never going to remember what year I took that trip. And so I'm not gonna look for a folder that starts out with 2012. It makes a lot more sense for that folder to start out with Croatia. So I wanna rename the folder. I can simply right click on the folder and then choose the rename command. That will bring up a dialog where I can type a new name. So I'll just type Croatia 2012 and then click save. And now the folder you can see is renamed inside of Lightroom. It's also renamed out on my hard drive so that everything matches up perfectly. So again, we can solve some of these issues, clean up a bit of our mess inside of Lightroom. In fact, we can perform a variety of other tasks. I created a video course that has over five hours of videos to help you clean up a mess in Lightroom. But these represent some of the most fundamental and most common issues. And then really just thinking about your overall workflow, seeing how you can streamline your workflow and then get things tidied up inside of your Lightroom catalog.